Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the big boppers. The rumbling, bumbling, stumbling offensive linemen. Um, the best of the offensive linemen workouts at the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. In the previous video, I mentioned that, uh, you know, this is going to be really good for me because I haven't seen any of the offensive linemen. I've just seen the defensive linemen because that is the only 40-yard dash video that the NFL put up. Although... In these best of videos, they usually include, you know, the impressive 40-yard um, dashes. So, there is one man. I don't know his name. I don't know his size, his school, nothing. But he comes out and runs, you know, as far as his size goes, a ridiculously fast 40-yard dash. And I can't wait to see that. As far as the other workouts that they do, I, I can't remember. Do they, do they line up with a running back? Do they line up with a quarterback? Do they practice blocking? I'm excited to see it. Let's go. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. It's, it's gonna be more important than the 40. Big boy. Iowa, you see the broad jump here, 10-1. That's as good as we've seen wow. for an offensive lineman. How about the vertical jump? Oh, yeah, oh my from an offensive lineman. God. 36 and a half. Tristan Wirfs, 36 and a half. No. 20... <laughs> 190... Sorry, 145 kilograms. 6 foot 5. 145 kgs just jumped 36 and a half inches. Let's watch that again. You think about a bar in the gym, okay? You put one plate aside. You put two plates aside. You put three plates aside. And then you put a quarter on each side as well. And then you put the lockers on, okay? That is how heavy this man is. We've ever seen from offensive lineman. How about the vertical jump? Wow. Oh yeah, that's as good as I don't know if it was this guy that ran that 40 yard dash, but if it is, I wouldn't be surprised. Seen from an offensive lineman, 36 and a half. Just ridiculous explosiveness. Look at the legs the on him. Tackle. You see the jump there, the best since 2003 on the... Woo! So Eric Stein on that list. Joe Thomas' old teammate. And then the broad Look at the best broad jump the best too. With the... With the Raiders, Colton Miller. Taylor Lewis. Look at these broad jumps. You would have thought a couple more would have a bit more explosiveness than that. But they are carrying around such heavy bodies. That's pretty bloody impressive. From 2018. So he's into the bench press. Thing. Oh, no, I don't even want to see this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's right. Completely forgot about the bench. We haven't seen any quarterbacks do that. What are we going to get? Like 30? Put this up 24 times. Keep in mind, he was the first true freshman to start at either tackle position in the Kirk Ferentz era at Iowa. And that's very, very hard to do with their tradition of offensive linemen and a head coach of Kirk Ferentz. 6'5", 320. Coach in the NFL. So effective versus 23, worse. 24. And then you've got John Simpson here. And I'm happy to see him, guys, because he had an injury at the Senior Bowl and tried to play through it and had some tough times dealing with the guys like, like Javon Kinlaw, and there was a lot made of it. But people had to remember, that kid tried to play Solid, boy. 37 reps. Wow. That is a solid technique. at 225. To make him big in the Big Ten, guys. Get it, get it, get it! We saw him put it up 44 times. A kid from Fresno State that ate 10 patties and 10 slices of cheese in an In-N-Out burger. Oh. I'm waiting to see if it's official. 36 and a half inch vertical. There he is again. That's smooth. That's absurd. Whoa. That's insanity. That was a smooth, oh. easy 486. It's Tristan Wirfs. And it's so smooth. DJ, I can't believe how good he is. Wow. Tristan Wirfs come in and killed the combine. Smooth. When you think about all his weight, all his mass is from the waist but down. Also, number five, um, Daniel Jeremiah's top 50 player. 364. When he down blocks, he just takes everybody with him, and he's moving pretty good. Oh my word! Somebody that. No, it was this guy. It was this guy that was the the uh, the most impressive because of his weight. 
three. What was it? He just takes top fifty. Three sixty four. Players. It's an avalanche. What? When he down blocks, he just takes everybody with him, and he's moving pretty good. Oh my word! Somebody. God damn! That is a beast. <laughs> That's a fucking One beast. Second. Did we just watch somebody who's 364 pounds, the heaviest individual at the 2020 scouting combine? That, did we just see him run 5 1 1 powerful? Bruh! This, is, this guy's in next to be the first tackle off the board. Really? Or maybe push he looks up. short. Let's add that to. Now that's crazy. This guy looks short, okay? He literally looks about six foot one or six foot, which is short for an offensive lineman. But let's just see. Let's just see. Every now and then I like to. Every now and then I like to check that. Oh, see, these guys don't even. Oh no! There we go. Oh my God! He's born in 1999. He's 20 years old. 20 years old. Six foot four. You are kidding me. There are some surprises, however, for the run tomorrow. Oh, that's, it. that's a wrap. Well, that's almost as impressive as the last two guys. Sean, I would give him a nickname, but I've been fired from that. I'm no longer allowed to throw out nicknames. Keep trying. Don't quit. Isaiah Wilson, he enjoyed the first day of the combine when they get to walk around in their underwear on stage. And that's it's pretty coach. bloody impressive. I'm not going to lie. There's going to be some linemen that are going to struggle big time with that drill. I'll tell you, Tristan, Look at those quads. Oh, Fuck, those oh, legs are big. You know, are you bending over at the waist? Is it knee bend? Joe, here we're watching this big guy right here. So when you get a tall guy like this, where is he bending at? Is he bending his knees or is he, you know, top heavy bending over the waist? This is pretty, looks pretty good right there. Oh, son. Yeah, you want to watch that center of gravity too. Can you keep that center of gravity low while you're changing direction? As a running back, you're going to want to run behind a guy like that, aren't you? Yeah, Miles Garrett from the Browns, you watch him when he's turning that corner and he's trying to get at the top of the pocket back downhill and make that sack. And this guy. all those cleats in the ground, and that, that enables you to be able to change direction where you're running upfield and all of a sudden now you're trying to run back downfield. Uh, having those cleats in the ground, having that ankle mobility is really a key. Guys that have a hard time bending those ankles, they, they don't change direction quite as well. That's Ron Armstead, Lane Johnson, Taylor Lewan. Their body type, they don't have the lower body to worse at. So the fact that he did that with all that mass, with all that booty, uh, that's impressive. I guess that's a, it's a mismatch league everywhere, right? The only thing you can do when you got a big fella coming at you like that, as an offensive tackle, we talk about one thing you don't want to do at the top of your set after three or four kicks is step in the bucket. All right, all right, last. This will be an exclamation point right here. It's a great call by John Lynch comparing his quads to Bose's quads. We got to get a side by side of those. <laughs> Wasn't very good, but he was he was a terrible athletic one. freak. Terrible one at 487. Here comes Jedrick Wills. I feel like there's so many of these guys. You can talk about Becton and and Worfs, but man, Jedrick Wills had a great day as well. Yeah, he showed he's a great athlete. He can move in space. He can react. He can change direction. He's helped, really helped himself out here today. This will be a clinic right here. This is Wills. He's a right. Nothing better than watching a line, an offensive line, mesh like that and open up a hole for the running back. Literally, that is, that is, that is beauty in motion. A tackle by trade, so he's an athlete too. Jedrick Wills Jr. from Alabama. Has he got cleats on? Yes. Jeez. Holy shit! Fans, fans like that one. Oh wow, they like that one, all right. They would have heard it from the stands. Look at that. That is power. Yeah, he took it like a champ, actually. Think about this combine for so many Probably felt like throwing one back. In Tampa. Oh, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. It's, 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 it's an, an absurdly it, long okay, wait. Ah, for sure. Elbows tight. Get your hands up. Bro, oh, this, this guy's this got really good incredible agility for 320 pounds. He's trying to 
gas him out. He's refusing to gas out. He's wearing one out. Bro, that's amazing. Yes, he's trying to gas him out, but it didn't work. His feet are so good. I think his hands might even be even better than his feet when you watch that's him on that's, film. That's what a top 10 pick looks like and moves like that position. Look at this guy's arms. Run a sub 4940 works. You're all we've got. And on this simulcam, presented by Old Spice, how about Werfs versus the reigning Super Bowl MVP and Jameis Winston? And Werfs almost runs down the patcherel. Wow. Let's wow. see. Him. Haskins from last year, Garoppolo from six years ago. <laughs> and the normal. big man is hanging with him. Fuck, that is impressive. Wow. That is so impressive. We're from Indianapolis in a moment. Oh, wow. Okay, so we had some big boffers there, that's for sure. But that's what we expected. I really enjoyed that. Um, you know, being being as big of a fan of bodybuilding as I as I am, and as I have been for years and years, even just seeing the bench press is, is interesting for me. Um, but the thing that strikes me is that, the thing that strikes me is when I look at running backs and wide receivers and even safeties and cornerbacks, when I look at their pre-draft measurables, they're always athletes, but it comes to the end and I look at their bench press stats and they're at least in double figures, if not like 20, 22, and it's like, how? I know technique is a big part of it, but, but, but how? I mean, these fucking 300 pound offensive linemen, some of them are just struggling to do 20 reps. How do these cornerbacks at 200 pounds do 20 reps on the bench? I just don't get it. Well, actually I do because there's genetic outliers out there and a lot of them would be in the NFL system because of their attributes. And that's just the way it goes. Isn't it guys? Ah! Anyways, in the next video, Justin Herbert's full 2020 NFL scouting combine workout. Now, due to the fact that he's not in the top two, do I watch it? I don't know. You're gonna have to find out. In the next video and with that being said guys i hope you're having a fantastic day i really hope you're enjoying these videos and um well i am let's keep going i'll see you in the next one thanks for being here guys peace out